what is going on guys it is the linkster here and i want to start off by thanking everyone for the support and kind messages in relation to the daisy top 5 servers video that i made recently i received a bunch of dms from people saying that they enjoyed the video and can't wait to see more so i thank you all for that so as i said in the previous video i'm going to be showcasing each server mentioned and its features in no particular order each of the next five videos are going to be laid out almost exactly the same to each other so please bear that in mind Firstly, I will tell you the server name, of course. Secondly, I will explain what made me want to play on that server for the first time. And finally, I will go through the main mods that the server has and show and tell you what each of those add-ons does. In the future, I'm going to do a video for each server, seeing exactly how fast from spawning I can get a loadout and have some equipment to sell to show how much or little loot spawns there are on the servers. Let's now jump into exactly what this video is about. So as you can see by the title of this video, this one is dedicated to Mango DayZ, and I tend to play on server 2 as it has the new DayZ expansion mod, but I have played a ton on server 1 also. The reason I chose to play on Mango DayZ for the first time is because a good friend of mine recommended the server to me, and I am sure glad he did because it is a really good server. Now let's look at the mods this server has installed and show and tell you about them. The first mod installed on this server is Daisy Expansion, and Daisy Expansion adds tons of new content such as helicopters, boats, vans, and other vehicles. The mod also improves base building vastly by adding a snapping tool to prevent having those wonky walls that always irritate you each time you turn up to your base. But that's not all. Daisy Expansion adds a ton of new guns to the loot table, and even adds airdrops to the game which are great as they have high tier loot and therefore influence PvP. The next mod isn't something you will be using all the time, hopefully. When you first join Mango Daisy, you will be greeted with a spawn selection screen, of course allowing you to choose from a few locations to start in. After spawning at your chosen location, you will be placed within a certain radius around the location you chose to spawn in, and be able to get straight into the Daisy action. This mod is called Z Spawn Selection. The next mod is quite simply called Banking, and what this mod does is pretty useful. As you may or may not know, you can go on loot runs, and with loot that you don't want or need, you can sell it at traders. Selling loot at traders will give you rubles, which is the currency, and those rubles can be stored in the ATM at the trader. So if your next player encounter doesn't, you know, go so well, if you have put your rubles into the ATM, they will be there consistently until you withdraw them and spend them. Next up is a mod called Better Suppressors, and this is a very basic yet useful mod. Better Suppressors makes weapon suppressors more durable, so that they don't break after a few mags of use, and makes suppressors less audible to AI zombies, which again, is very useful. The next mod adds content into the game, and this one is called CPB Weapons, and it adds weapons such as the Barrett, M200, HK416, SR25, Thompson, M14, Val, Glock 41, and adds various attachments such as bipods, grips, sights, and suppressors. Next up is a specific vehicle mod, and that is the RAG Hummer Refresh mod, and this adds a fully working Hummer with 1,400 slots and 5 attachment slots, those being a jerry can, first aid kit, weapon, melee weapon, and spare wheel slot, in case your drive doesn't exactly go to plan. The next mod is a very simple one again, yet very useful. In standard daisy standalone, over time your shoes will get damaged, and this no shoe damage mod prevents this from happening, so that once you've found or bought shoes, they will never wear out in use. The next mod is yet another specific car model, and this is the CRSK BMW 525i E34. This car mod is in a lot of modded servers, as it is so well done. The BMW has 400 storage slots, is rear wheel drive and has a spare tyre and canister slot available. I really do like this vehicle and the amount of detail that has been put into it. As you may or may not know, the vehicle physics in Daisy Standalone are, let's just say, interesting. So this next mod certainly comes in handy if something bad happens. This is the Flip Transport mod and this does exactly what it says on the tin. This mod allows you to flip your vehicle if it mysteriously ends up on its roof. And yes, this does happen a lot. All you need is a wrench in your hands, look at a wheel of the vehicle and voila, your vehicle should flip back onto its wheels. The next mod is called Builder Items and this mod adds roughly 1,700 props, walls, roads, map objects and decorations to really add to the game. 
This basically allows the admins to be able to make military bases and add other various structures and props around the map to really enhance the DAISY standalone experience. Yet another content mod is up next, and this is the More Guns mod. Quite simply, it adds some very popular weapons to the game, such as the AWM, Car 98K, M1A SOCOM, M14, which used to be one of my favourite weapons in DAISY mod, Mark 22, MP7, Scar L, PP19, and an automatic pistol, which is very, very cool. Next up, we have one of my favourite vehicle mods the IRP Land Rover Defender 110, and the reason I like this mod so much is because of the sheer amount of detail it has. The texture work is incredible as it doesn't look pristine. It looks like a used Land Rover in real life, which is what it should look like really. It has a total of 4 seats, 600 slots and 4 colour variants. Again we have yet another vehicle mod and this is the Gerfilius Z130 and this vehicle is perfect if you have a larger squad as it has a total of 10 seats and 1,400 slots, which is crazy good and can really come in handy when going on long loot runs with the squad. Next up we have the Remastered Armour Weapon Pack, and this brings back guns from Armour 2 and Operation Arrowhead and remasters them. The list of added weapons is huge, so a few of my favourites are the Mark 16, Mark 17, M110, AS50, M240 and M24. The next mod is extremely important to me, and that is simply the Trader mod, and of course this adds traders to the game. At Traders you can buy and sell clothing, food and drink, weapons, ammo, hunting supplies, base supplies, and the list goes on. At this point I won't play a DayZ server unless it has some kind of Trader mod. It is an absolute must for me as I love customization when it comes to clothing and weapon mods. Next up is quite a large mod, and it is the Mungard's Item Pack, which adds tons of new items to the game, including weapons, bags, clothing, and much, much more. You are seeing only a few examples, but this pack is so big that it would take about half an hour to get through everything that it offers. This next pack adds over 250 unique items to Daisy. I haven't been able to find a list of exactly what is in the pack, but you are seeing some examples on screen now. These are all items from Mass's Many Item Overhaul, and they are all really well made and textured items of all types. The final mod is Windstrides Clothing Pack, and this adds a bunch of clothing which fits in with a post-apocalyptic Jernerus, as well as adding a canvas backpack which has attachable pins for the sake of customization, which is really cool and I hope to see more clothing like this in the future. The last thing that I want to mention is that these mods are subject to change and may be subject to be added or removed from the server, so I apologise if you get on the server and one of these mods isn't on it at the time. All information about this server will be in the description below as well as links to the mods in case you want to check them out for yourself. With that said, I thank you ever so much for watching and I certainly do hope you have enjoyed. I will see you in the next one.